There is a fight taking place, not just here in the United States, but worldwide, between special interest mega corporations that buy and sell our politicians who want to bring in a worldwide corporate tyranny and against free populations across this globe. And the United States, that's always been an example of liberty and freedom to the world, is now an example of corruption, torture, and secret arrest. Now, as you know, Congress passed in December and Obama signed on December 31st, 2011, the National Defense Authorization Act that allows the secret arrest of U.S. citizens, the secret torture. You can disappear forever. And people say, well, where's Bob? Well, where's Carol? We don't know. Maybe they disappeared. You better keep your mouth shut or you'll disappear. Even the worst dictatorships in modern history don't put this type of evil on paper. And now Mitt Romney's come out and said he agrees with it. And they try to spin it that it's, quote, for terrorists, but the legislation says it's for U.S. citizens. Well, Ron Paul is striking back today. He took time off the campaign trail where he's a strong second now nationwide, even with the traitor establishment dinosaur prostitute media saying he can't win. He's swimming upstream like a salmon uh, against their lies, showing how the dinosaur media is losing more and more of its credibility with the public. And he went back to Congress and introduced legislation to repeal the draconian provisions of the National Defense Authorization Act, the secret arrest and disappearance of citizens, the worldwide declaration of war without Congress, uh, the end of posse commentatus. He has got a piece of legislation that stands against that. And the headline on Infowars.com is Ron Paul introduces legislation to strike NDAA's unconstitutional sections. This is so important to get this out to everybody. The fact that both parties and all the other candidates, Obama and the other four Republicans, totally support this and are competing with each other to promote war shows the dangerous straits that this country is in. And they've got a lot of other scary legislation like the SOPA legislation introduced that is an admitted selective internet kill switch without due process. Something good has come out of all this bad though. With the SOPA and the IP Act and the NDAA and all of this and TSA now at checkpoints on the highway and naked body scanners at the shopping malls and, on, and in New York on the streets, it's really waking people up. Folks, I wish this stuff wasn't true. But I discovered this plan to militarize the police and use the military against us 14, 15 years ago when I was kind of a mainline libertarian Ron Paul type talk show host. And People said, oh man, I talk about wild stuff over the years. It's because wild stuff is going on. And I saw it being developed behind the scenes. Now it's coming out in the open because the worldwide economy is being imploded by design. Before I cover some of this news, one other issue. You know, 80 plus percent of the oil that's developed in Alaska by federal law is shipped out to Asia. We don't get it. Uh, but some deals were struck with Canada to start shipping oil in a pipeline through Illinois down to Texas oil we need. And Obama uh, signed an order today saying that's canceled. Not even letting free market bring us oil and, and lower our uh, dependency on the Middle East. It's the globalists. They want to destroy our economy. They want a post-industrial world. They're not just destroying our Bill of Rights and Constitution. It's monopoly men. They want to consolidate power. Now, let me uh, show you uh, some of these uh, articles here, some of these uh, top stories. Uh, here is one uh, right here for whatever reason my camera is not focusing, but um, you can see it right there. Ron Paul introduces uh, legislation to strike NDAA's unconstitutional sections. And again, there it is uh, right there on the site. There's other incredible news where AMA uh, Journal is talking about making participation in vaccine trials uh, mandatory. Uh, there's all of that, but let me show you what's going on uh, over at the Drudge Report. If you go to the Drudge Report, he's linked, drudgereport.com, he's linked to two of our articles. Uh, NYC moves to deploy body scanners on street in search for guns. And then there's another one here where the TSA had said they were going to test their employees for radiation, but now they say uh, that they're not going to do this. This is part of a 
long-term pattern uh, that they have engaged in over and over again where they say, we're going to stop groping people under 12, and then they keep doing it. Or we don't have any radiation coming out of our scanners. Why, John Hopkins says that there is no radiation, and it turns out, of course, there is, and they're lying. It's all part of their deception. But this is just some of the news that we're tracking, some of the things that are developing, and it's all on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Please get this out to everybody and support Ron Paul in trying to repeal the unconstitutional, constitution-killing provisions of the NDAA. Support Congressman Ron Paul, even if you don't support him for president. For heaven's sakes, support him in trying to restore the Constitution. We'll be covering it more on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'll also be on Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie tonight covering NDAA.